I swear to God, I'd rather be 0-17 this year than have what we have in Cleveland. We have a roster and a quarterback that with the appropriate, I'm not even talking a good coach, Pat Shermer, Rob Chudinski, Eric Mangini, Romeo Cornell, anybody would be coaching this team. We'd make a deep playoff push, possibly championship. If we had a great coach or a good coach, we could probably win the whole damn thing again. we get our ninth championship. But knowing that we have everything in place, we have an elite quarterback that we've only seen one decent half of football in nine games because uh, Kevin Stefanski's high school offense doesn't allow for him to showcase his skills. I mean, look at Baker Mayfield. He's playing at a high level right now. He's got seven TDs, two interceptions. And you guys know me. I always said Baker Mayfield was good. You put Deshaun Watson in Tampa Bay right now, he's probably got like uh, 13, 14 TDs, one, two interceptions, maybe none. But he, he's definitely better than Baker Mayfield. That's a, you can't even argue that. The problem is the Cleveland Browns offensively. If you look at our defense compared to our offense, last year our defense actually, or last week our defense played good enough to win. We only gave up like 297 yards, under 300. You give up under 300 yards a game, your defense is an elite. But our offense couldn't move the ball. And I don't want to hear backup quarterback, whatever, because if Deshaun Watson was in that game with that game plan, we would have never won. If Tom Brady was in that game with that game plan, we would have never won. It was set up for failure from the start. This guy's running a fucking high school offense. If you look at, just watch the Cleveland Browns. I can't even explain it anymore. But we have everything in place where we can get our ninth championship this year. I mean, we could, we should be 4-0 right now because the Ravens are so beat up. We should have been able to beat them if we had an NFL coach that knew how to game plan. But this guy's terrible. He has no clue. He can't make adjustments and his game plans are flat out horrible. I'd rather be 0-17 than have what we have right now because we have everything in place that we could win a title. And it's it, we're going to finish 7-10 and 10 like we did last year, and Stefanski is going to remain coach. This ownership is so fucking dumb. Jimmy Haslam's got to be the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen in my owner ever. It's laid out right in front of you. Just read social media. You shouldn't even need to read social media. You should, should, if I was the owner of this team and I see, I would, what the fuck are you doing offensively? I'm looking at the defense. They get no penalties. They, they just look like a beautiful unit. They play motivated. They play inspired. And the offense looks like they're going through the motions. And no, no one's inspired. It's, it looks depressing watching our offense on the field, even with Watson. And the fact that Watson's only had one decent half of football in nine fucking games speaks volumes of how bad Kevin Stefanski is. If you put Watson in any other situation, the last nine games, I'll guarantee you his third game last year, coming back, he would have been back to normal. It wouldn't have never. I mean, because let's call a spade a spade. He had a good second half last week, or whatever it was. Do we think that was going to continue? Do I think that's going to continue in the next? I don't think so. Not with this offense. Not with Kevin Stefanski. And Stefanski has proven time and time again that not only will he not make adjustments, he's not open to change. He is not open to changing his offensive philosophy or nothing. They said Watson had to beg him to, to run more open sets, empty sets. You should not have to beg your head coach. When a player comes to a team, you build your offense around the talent you have. You don't force your 1977 fucking John Han, what a Wendell Tyler offense on fucking a team. You don't do that. You build around the talent you have. And if you don't have talent, then you run an offense like this. I truly think they run this offense because they thought in their mind, oh, it's simple. Anyone can run it. You don't need a franchise quarterback to run it. It's going to be great. We could just keep on drafting scrubs and they could run it. I think they really thought that. But if you notice, the NFL figured it out. You can't even really advance the ball anymore. That's why Stefanski's doing all these trick plays. No coach and any merit will do trick plays every week. Stefanski does four or five a game. He's, he, and his playbook, his play sheet's no longer a Denny's menu. It's like a mom and pop's uh, little restaurant. It's like a little quarter size. This guy's so ill-equipped to be a fucking head coach. And I got to sit there and watch this weekly, knowing that every team, there's probably, what, 32 teams in the league? I'll guarantee you 30 of them are like, damn, if we had that roster. I mean, Deshaun Watson's as elite as they come. I mean, our wide receivers are decent. Our defense is unfucking believable. Um, we got a good offensive line, but this guy cannot fucking utilize it. He has no clue. And like I say, I can give you so many points, but let's talk a couple years ago, the COVID season. Without, well, anyone, let's just throw that out. That season meant nothing. It was a COVID season. Most of the teams, they didn't even get to practice because they're fucking, uh, everyone was sick, whatever. But we needed to make the playoffs. We needed to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. They had their starters resting at home. It took a last second first down to beat them. And then the following week, we play their starters on the road in the playoffs. 
Stefanski's got fucking COVID. He's not there. In our, if you, our offense look, I know we had a lot of turnovers, but if you look at our offense, it was a totally different. We went downfield. We didn't get stagnant. It was totally different. And then Stefanski comes back the next week and our offense is back to being 20 yard box. I can't emphasize how bad this guy is. He's just not equipped. And then look at Stephon Diggs. 62 catches in Kevin's offense in 2019, 115 the next year in Buffalo. People say, well, yeah, Josh Allen. Kirk Cousins is not a scrub. Everyone struggles in Stefanski's offense. Look at Beckham. They didn't even know how to use him because Stefanski don't go off downfield. I mean, it's just the guy's an idiot. When's the last time we actually thrown a slant in the football game? I cannot remember the last time we threw a fucking slant. Can't remember. When's the last time we threw a screen? This guy is so offensively challenged. And like I say, he's not willing to change. He's not willing to change because he's stubborn. He's an Ivy League clown. It's his way or the fucking highway. And I got an owner out there that could just pull the plug and say, you're gone, you're gone. They got to get rid of Deep Podesta. They have to get rid of him. He is the biggest problem in Cleveland. And Stefanski's got to go. He can't stay because the guy, he, I don't even want him just not calling plays. He's got to be out of the building. When Miles Garrett rolled his eyes after that pathetic post game speech after they won, I think they beat the Titans. That just speaks volumes for how that locker room feels about Kevin Stefanski. They don't like him. Look at the defense, how they play inspired. And then look at the offense. It's like night and day. And as soon as Nick Chubb went down, this guy has no clue on how to, he's just ter- he's, he's fucking horrible. And I got an owner that just allows it to keep going on and on and on. He's got to get rid of it. And this should have happened Sunday night. He should have called Kevin in and deep on and said, listen, it ain't working. Uh, you brought me a $230 million quarterback who's playing worse than Baker Mayfield did last year in Cl- or two years, whatever. It ain't working. You got to go. The results are there. Analytics says that your offense is fucking making players regress. You have to fucking go. That's what he should have said. But no, this dumbass is going to wait till we're fucking 4-9, 4-10 when the season's over. Or better yet, he's going to wait till next year and he's going to be like, one more year I'll give you guys. And we're going to go. It's, it, I shouldn't have to fucking feel this way about a team that's stacked like this. I'm telling you right now. You go pull GMs in the league. They would love to have this roster. Because Watson is an elite quarterback still. I don't care what people say. He's an elite quarterback. If you watch the Cleveland Browns, you can put anyone in this offense. They're not going to look good. They're not going to look good. What about Jacoby Brissett? That was last year. Teams figured him out. Trust me. You're not going to look good in this offense. Kevin Stefanski let Andy Dalton come into Cleveland last year. Minus fucking 10 degrees out and beat us at Cleveland. A dome team. A dome team! Because he threw the ball 38 times or whatever the fuck it was. This guy runs when he should pass and passes when he should run. He tries to outsmart everybody. He is the worst fucking coach ever. In Deep Podesta, I don't know what the fuck he does in this organization. He's a head of analytics, whatever. But he's a cancer. He is a fucking cancer. Everything is analytics with the Browns. Everything. Cowley Bronson, how the fuck do you look at your players and say, well, here's your wide receiver, coach. You got men. That are fucking athletes. They're being coached by a fucking woman? Are you fucking kidding me, Haslam? What the fuck is that? I mean, who the fuck are you? You want to put a woman in some fucking uh, public PR stunt, whatever. Not on the fucking field coaching. Those players don't want to be coached by her. It's an embarrassment, and it's a slap in the face to other receivers out there that wanted the job. Former receivers. Haslam, you are ill-equipped to own this team. I'll be honest with you. You should just... Why don't you just sell the fucking team? I wish the NFL would force him to sell the fucking team. You know what I really wish happened? I wish when the Browns moved, I wish they never came back. Because then, I would have had no choice but to go with the Ravens. I should have stayed with the fucking Ravens. The only reason I waited the round because they were coming back. I, if they didn't come back, I would be a Ravens fan. I should have fucking done that. I should have... But I had no clue that Ann Raul Lerner was going to sell the team to some fucking hillbilly jackass that don't give a fuck about football or is brainwashed by an Ivy cult. I am livid right now. I'd rather be 0-17 with no talent like we had when Kevin... Whatever the fuck his name was. Uh, the guy from Stanford was a quarterback and... Um, uh, I forget his name now. What the fuck? Kevin Hogan. At least then, I didn't give a fuck because we didn't have talent. When we won, it was great. But losing, who cares? Now, we're losing games that we should win. We should... We're 2-2. Two and two. What happened against Pittsburgh was an embarrassment. We dominated them. And we lost because Kevin has no clue on how to run an offense. Every... We had a lot of turnovers, but the Steelers knew our playbook. Everyone knows our playbook. It's a fucking high school playbook, for crying out loud. And this guy... He just won't change. He's not open to change. Now, if Haslam said, okay, we're taking play calling. No, I'll change. I'll change. Guaranteed he'd say he'll change. Too late. I don't want him gone from play calling. I want him eradicated from the building. He's a cancer. He brings everyone fucking down. 
And D. Podesta has him. He must have some spyware on your computer or something because he's got, he's got something on you. I have no clue on why you still employ this cl- clown. He has done nothing but ruin player and player and player after season after season with his fucking hiring of uh, Kevin Stefanski. The reason Kevin Stefanski's there is because he's a puppet. He's Depot's little puppet. Whatever Depot wants done, Kevin does. Kevin does it. They wanted Depot two years before they even hired him. And he didn't even have no coaching experience. He was a defensive line coach or something. They just wanted an analytical puppet that they can just control. Like Hugh Jackson. And Hugh Jackson finally said, fuck this. I need a- I need um, a- A.J. McCarron. I want to win. And uh, everyone thinks it was Andrew Berry or whoever the fuck it was. Sashi Brown that didn't set a trade through. I think it was Depot. <laughs> Depot. I-, I do. I do. Now, listen. We had John Dorsey. John Dorsey, as soon as he came, boom. We drafted Mayfield. We got Chubb. He made an immediate uh, difference. And then, you know what? They fired him. Depot had him fired. Jimmy Hass's biggest mistake was getting rid of John Dorsey. John Dorsey would have got rid of Depot, and our problems would have been solved. Baker Mayfield, he could still play. Is he as good as Watson? No. But Baker Mayfield can win a Super Bowl. He can. He's not a scrub quarterback. I've always told you, Baker Mayfield can play in his league, and he can win you a Super Bowl. Now, if I can make that trade over again, I would do it still. Because I know Deshaun Watson can play at an elite level, and I know he can put up some big numbers when he's got the when he's got an NFL coach. If you put Baker Mayfield in this offense right now, he's going to have the same problem as Deshaun. No one can function in this offense. Nobody. Nobody. Tom Brady now. Nobody. The only thing Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers would do differently because they're smarter than Deshaun Watson. They'd go to the owner and say, "This is fucking ridiculous. I'm not running it. Get rid of this guy," and it would be done. That's all Deshaun has to do, but I don't think he's smart enough to realize it or something. So anyway, in, in closing, it's the most frustrating time to be a Browns fan because we have everything on the table we need to win our ninth championship, but we have two guys, three guys, Jimmy Haslam, Paul Depot, Destin, and Kevin Stefanski. Jimmy Haslam, you're a clueless fucking clown, and I hate you.